Welcome, Agent. If you don't have a plan, just think on your feet. <laughs> Extraction vehicle has arrived. Reach it as discreetly as possible. The Sea Vink is set in a world where governments were prohibited from having intelligence services. So intelligence services became either freelance or the stuff of companies. The Sea Vink is one of such companies. Spies are at the center of this game. The idea as we design agents is that they are the best of the best at what they do. They come from a lot of different backgrounds. I'm not a good shooter, so my go-to is choir. I like his basic tool set, which is really good for entry-level players. Oh. And everyone doubted me, including myself. <laughs> Chavez is a legend in the spy world. He's done a ton of missions. You can see him as kind of the action movie hero. <laughs> Can't be an experience. I really love to play Larson because I'm a terrible shot and his gun fires fast, so I can do corrective shooting. And when things go sour, I can just disappear and try to relocate. Now you see me? Now you don't. Poof. I also love Madame Chu. She's powerful and enigmatic and it's just a really cool vibe. Never bet against me. Kavaya, she's a detective. He sniffs out every enemy agent. But the thing with me is that I end up sniffing out everyone, but then I get killed because I, <laughs> I can capitalize on it. Damn, I'll get you next time. And then you have the NPCs, which are the people that you'll see the most. NPCs are what makes the game work. Without the NPCs, you couldn't hide in plain sight. You're always trying to blend in a crowd. And I think that's the fun part. You can disguise yourself as anyone. Does the NPC make me think he might be a player? Does that NPC fool me enough to think that it's not a player? It's really fun to do. What are you doing here? Then there's Iris, which is our artificial intelligence character, which is pretty much the narrator of the game. Cover lost. You are now sticking out like a sore thumb. Iris is a complex one. They are the center of deceiving. We also want to really build Iris as the player's eyes and ears, pretty much. So they're always there, no matter the spy you choose. Everything about this game reeks style and super fun, engaging moment-to-moment -moment gameplay. The forms are very more realist, but the textures and the colors are very bright. And we also add a little edge to all the shapes that kind of makes them pop. It's the classic spy fantasy. You're in a mansion at night. There's kind of that banquet going on, an auction going on. For Silver Reef, you're underwater in a hotel, that international location, kind of more close quarter with closer fights. Each of the maps has its own villain, and they all have very specific stories and reasoning and motives. Stop right there, criminal scum. I think just the gadgets are a great example of that little toy that we want to be able to interact with a lot of different things in the kind of sandbox of the game. I like the spy class because then I don't have to go towards the end town to take it because I feel like I'm too obvious. The bouncing mat is an all-star classic. I'm a sucker for traversal and mobility, so having a tool that lets you bounce up or just push people away. One of my favorite was the spy drone. I was inspired just by fly in general. It literally sounds like a fly, and it's super annoyed. Like people go, pardon my French, but that's crazy when you like just follow them. And so it's super fun to do some psychological warfare to them. Go, go, thingy, go! People really love the ideas of disguising this as an object. So you can be a chair, you can be a flower pot, and the idea is the player don't notice that you're odd, you're at a weird spot. Gotcha! I just walk around as a couch, and sometimes you have people that just run past you. I should make that shot. Why didn't I make that shot? Where did he come from? Oh, I saw him. How did I miss that toilet in the middle of the room? When you play as a toilet, you can just hide in plain sight in situations where your brain just doesn't compute there's a toilet on the, on the corner of your eye. So look out for the toilets that are not in actual restrooms. Wow, Agent, you make us proud. One thing that we are thinking about when we go into the future is that people will know the basics of the game. So we can start trying stuff that's really kind of uh, <laughs> a bit more shocking in character abilities. So there's definitely going to be downloadable content. It's always evolving, like there's a lot of pitches when it comes to new spies. Every spy comes with their weapons and abilities, so that's our way to jazz gameplay. Ah!
We want players that really want to invest in the game and make it their main multiplayer game or spend a lot of time in it to be able to have a lot of skill ceilings that they can raise constantly. We don't make the game to be a funny game, but it happens to be because of the situation, the gameplay, the ridiculousness of how the system interacts together and you see something happen and you're like, that's so dumb, but I, I love it. That's lit! Unusually well done. Virtual pat on the back, agent. Keep it up.